We are nearing the end of the final day, but uh, there is one last uh, exciting speech to come, and I'm delighted to say uh, that Fred Gregard, CEO of the Cardano Foundation, is going to head onto the stage just for a few last words. Wow, that was, that was simply just exciting, right? What Matthew was explaining, you know, some of us from banking and finance and from Bitcoin and cryptography, we think our life is complicated. And then what we see here is when you take physical structures, assembly processes and merge that with the blockchain, it gets even more complicated. So when we take blockchain isolated, merge it with hardware, merge it with people, what we get to do is solve the big problems of society, of life and of the future. I think that's really also what we've been doing the last two days. What's so interesting about the Cardano Summit, which is now running the third year with the patronage of the Cardano Foundation. Before that, it was in Wyoming. Before that, for those OGs, it was back in Florida, right? And I mean, it's been really a journey. But what really sticks out to me, and which is so special, is that we don't actually understand yet what the power of blockchain is going to be. But when we start upgrading the minds of people who truly understand these big problems as Matthew was speaking about, now nothing is impossible anymore. But if we stay in a vacuum of only crypto, or only cryptography, or only networking, we are just a blob. But when we start adding people who's been here today and yesterday, like SAP, right, the big giant right, in data handling from around the world. There was a global airline here represented today. They, I'm not allowed to say the name, but they were you know, coming in because they actually start seeing that they have huge opportunities in terms of cutting costs, making air travel more efficient, adding new target operating models to it. We heard about how we can transform land registry to bring stability, right? We have the University of Zurich here and other universities, but University of Zurich is now going to do a blockchain education only on Cardano, and they're using digital identities where there is a copy of the data on site at the university. So they're not anymore talking about blockchain, they're using blockchain in the engine room so you can verify their records on the Cardano blockchain. We heard about how we're going to, you know, potentially bring the ability of, of basically do stable coins with Bitcoin as the underlying asset. Right? I mean, you know, NASA, uh, Matthew is speaking here about, you know, emerging structures and how we do that with AI. I don't think that's possible to do without actually people coming together, physical without people actually putting their brains together and getting these epiphany moments, which can only happen when we are here together. That's what the Cardano Summit is about. It's about introducing people who have been skeptical towards blockchain, who didn't understand it, but understand something else, which we don't understand in our community. It's about celebrating how far Cardano has come, but also about how interoperable we are now with Cosmos, with IBC, with Corda, and multiple other things like Hydra, right? But what you don't see when you're here, what you don't see when you're here, is you don't see the thousands of hours, the 360 days who went in to organizing this. Because if something goes wrong, you will see it straight away. But what I saw the last two days, I saw 150 speakers from 80 different nations coming together. I think we clocked 1,100 people through the gates up here in a market who's oversaturated by conferences. People who's been in the conference circuit for several years, they said this is the best conference they've seen in Dubai on technology. And this is due to the thousands This is due to the thousands of hours you don't see. This is the people behind the scenes, whether they are project managers, they are vendors, whether they are ambassadors of the Cardano ecosystem, you know, 
marketing, communications, first event who helped us a lot with the on-ground logistics, all those things you don't see. But what it does is it creates a human platform like we have the Cardano blockchain, just in reality. So I want to say a very big thank you to all of our sponsors. I heard from many of them, and some of them even came and, and got you know, some uh, throat tablets for me because they've been talking so much in the booth. They've been selling so much that they couldn't speak anymore. And they said, Fred, how do you do it with so many meetings? I'm like, here's some medicine, you know. And you know, they told me, again, you know, Binance, Richard Tang told me, hey, Fred, I want to come back next year. You know, the CEO of Binance want to come back and sponsor the Cardano Summit because he likes our ecosystem. Huh? And I know that some of the projects who's not been listed yet on Binance, they had the opportunity to speak to the Binance team and get clarification about what is the process and what can we do. Isn't that amazing, huh? We saw track and trace solutions from Georgia Wine, from ScanTrust. We saw additive printing. We had several law firms here giving legal advice, you know, ensuring that you don't incorporate in one jurisdiction and go to the other. I mean, I heard one company telling me they potentially saved $50,000 just by coming here instead of signing up with a law firm. They got some legal advice and at least they, maybe they will still pay something for a law firm, but not a $50,000 fine, you know? So I think what this really is, is bringing value to all of the sponsors. And because we're doing it year on year, right, we've been able to also prove that value to the sponsors. So thank you very much to everybody who put in the belt, <laughs> cocked up the money, and helped us that we could make this happen. Thank you very much to all the sponsors and the enterprises here. Now, what about the OGs, the stake pool operators, the stakers, you know, all those people. Some of them, even for the first time, I met somebody who never had a passport before. And this is the first time they traveled and they got a passport to come here. I saw other people which I've been hoping to meet for, yeah, well, about four years since I started here, right? And they've always been hiding behind an icon or behind a skin or behind, you know, some blurriness, right? And they, they came here. And what I heard is I heard really, really solid discussions with, uh, it was about the budget, you know, the disbursement of the budget. I saw Intersect here doing an amazing job about keying the community together and speaking about governance and speaking about the committee. I saw people being worried about the future of Cardano and turning around and saying, actually, I was worried coming here, but exiting here, I'm hopeful. Not only am I hopeful, I can see we can solve these things, but only by working together. So thank you very much to everybody who's been around for Cardano for a long time, the OGs of the Cardano ecosystem, for one more time coming here and educating the people who never been to Cardano or the people who's very new to our ecosystem. Thank you for that. <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> we had some people here who actually did not know what blockchain was. It is scary. Those people exist. I think Matthew just did the coolest explanation of why blockchain matter. I've never seen something as technical and still summarized in a few details. But we actually did have people here who either never heard about blockchain or were questioning the value proposition of blockchain or thought that blockchain was just one asset, one cryptocurrency. Now they came here and they learned something. And I think that's amazing. Because the one epiphany moment I have from the last 12 months is we need to be much larger than who we are. We need to start reaching in to the closed circles, the databases, the physical infrastructure, the critical infrastructure. It's not about no longer, you know, can we go to the moon? No, this is about how do we conquer space and how do we survive as a society? using blockchain, and to do that, we need to upgrade people's knowledge to the knowledge you have, and your knowledge needs to be upgraded to the knowledge Matthew has, to the wine industry, to healthcare, and all those things. Because by upgrading those different knowledge spaces, what we get to is solutions we never dreamt was possible. Thank you very much for coming here, and I see you all tonight, hopefully, 
at the gala dinner, and if not, I will see you behind the screen, behind a UTXO transaction, behind a native asset, or somewhere on the other side. Thank you very much, everybody.